about kind of being in wonderment of the world around you and seeing the world for the first time, like looking at the world finally with your eyes open and seeing how big the universe is and, and seeing how small I am in the universe. Um, and also just kind of a celebration of, of life too. Ray, I mean, a ray of light to me is like hope. You know, so it's a song about looking at the world for the first time with a feeling of real hope and also joy and happiness. So it's really, it's a song about celebration. The video, well, <laughs> basically it's just been two days of me dancing like a maniac. Um, I mean, he's been shooting a lot of footage that I'm not in, but it's like stuff about the universe, really. But it's like the modern universe, like, you know, it's kind of very... Um, looking forward to where we're going and seeing how fast we're moving and especially in uh, technologically you know with you know computers and and airplanes and you know cars zooming down highways really fast I mean it's kind of like life in fast forward motion kind of zooming towards the end of the um, 20th century which is also what the song's about so for me the song is like a real visual interpretation of the song. I think I'm a real visual artist because I was trained as a dancer and in theater and I'm also an actress so actually the medium of film is very important to me and when I do a video I can incorporate all of those things that I do well into one five minute condensed period of time. I figured out that kind of like what videos are like poems like you know what poems are to stories, videos are to film. So it's a very kind of concentrated, intense um, expression, the way a poem is. And it's just a great way to express yourself in a song. Are you putting as much work into the music videos as you put into the making, the, the um, making writing of the songs? No. <laughs> no, I mean, I poured my heart and soul into that record, you know, and and uh, it took me very many months to make. I mean, a music video is a much more of collaboration with the director and what his ideas are. And Jonas has a very specific style of working, and that's why I used him for this song. Each director has a different way that they look at the world and a different sensibility, which is why I choose them depending on what kind of song it is. I think he would have been all wrong for the Frozen video. I thought Chris Cunningham and his sensibility was really great for that. And Jonas is really good for this. But I'm, on this record, I'm really interested in using new, new directors, younger, newer, kind of just people who have a fresh look at things versus like the directors that I've been using for years on all my other videos. So for me, techno or um, electronica what is is like a natural progression of the dance music that I began with in the in the 80s. Mm -hmm. Well, to sing the music of Andrew Lloyd Webber, I had to study with a vocal coach because I didn't think I had the range to hit all the high notes. And so after studying for several months, um, I really strengthened my voice and learned how to sing in a way that I never did before. So I, it really influenced me with my songwriting on my own album. And I, I think it, uh, I think that um, my songwriting has changed a lot because of it. <laughs> or here's another one. So you actually do yeah, you that? You have to sit there basically and look like an idiot for about a half an hour. <laughs> okay, so you do that what, every day or? No, 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 no. Just, I just go in for tune-ups, you know what I mean? Like if I know I'm going to do a performance or if um, I go, she lives in New York. So whenever I'm in New York, I go and visit my, my voice teacher. Mm -hmm. No, I was very happy to have time off from being me. I didn't miss it at all.
No. No, because, I mean, I, I can dream up dreams and I can do my best to execute my dreams, but everything I do is a collaboration with other people. I rely on the creative energy of a lot of people to do everything I do, from whether that's a photo shoot or a video or a film or a record. I mean, I rely on the musicians. I rely on the people that make my clothes. I rely on the people that do my hair and my makeup. I rely on the director that's standing behind the camera. I mean, so I never think that I can do whatever I want to do. I always think, this is my dream. Let me gather around the people I think are going to most support my dream, and let's see what happens. Well, exactly. And uh, when I went to choose the first single for this record, I had lots of people influencing me. You know, my managers had their input, my friends, uh, rec people that worked at my record company. So, you know, sometimes I, I get a, a feeling of something that I want, but then sometimes I make compromises and say, well, I go with somebody else's point of view. Because everything I did led me up to this moment. So if I would have changed other things, I wouldn't be here. Hon var ju anställd att det skulle vara hysteriska och dyrka henne och jobba med henne. Så det var ett helt team som gick runt där och passade upp och hjälpte till med saker. Och sen, ja, det var, ja det är ett stort projekt liksom, men som människa, det är, det är ett, en hel apparat. Sanskrit yoga has influenced me studying the Kabbalah, which is, which is a mystical interpretation of the, new te of the Old Testament. Um, Yeah, just all of those things, being a mother, um, have really influenced me and inspired me on this record.